permit me to break official protocol so I can begin by recognizing my parents and the Lord, Mommy and Daddy Gio, Pastor Enoch Adejaria Deboye, and Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. And also to recognize our chief host today, the President of Khan, His Eminence, Reverend Shupo Ayokunle. My wife, my dear wife, Mrs. Dolapo Shibadu. The Deputy President of the Senate, ably represented today by Evangelist Michael Jegede. The Senator representing Imo West Senatorial District and former Governor of Imo State, Distinguished Senator Owele Rochas Okorota. The member representing Das Tafa Balewa and Bogoro Federal Constituency and former Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara and other members of the National Assembly present. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, ably represented today by the Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odili. The President of the Court of Appeal, the Honorable Justice Monica Dogwan Messon. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, and other members of the Federal Executive Council present. Honorable Ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the representative of the Head of Service, Service Chiefs present, Heads of Federal Government Agencies and Parastatals present, Your Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, the President, all the Bloc Leaders of the PFN, National Directors and other Executive Officers of the, sorry, all the block leaders of the Christian Association of Nigeria, national directors and other executive officers of the Christian Association of Nigeria present, all heads of churches, my Lord's bishops, my Lord's temporal, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by delivering to the Christian Association of Nigeria the very warm felicitations of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, on this occasion of the 45th anniversary of the association. He has asked me to commend the work of the Christian Association of Nigeria, especially within the Inter-Religious Council, NIREC, to ensure brotherliness and peace amongst all Nigerians, regardless of faith. Congratulations today on behalf of Mr. President. I've titled my remarks today, The Vision Undefeated, The Vision Unde Undefeated. 61 years ago, our founding fathers laid out a vision that the many nations and ethnicities north and south of the Niger, 300 languages or more, differing tribes and religions, would by the grace of God become one nation. That their diverse strengths and gifts would coalesce into a formidable economic and regional force. And that these united nations may become the largest aggregation of black people on earth a beacon of hope to all peoples of African descent, long bruised by the afflictions of slavery and colonial exploitation. Nigeria would be the reaffirmation of their dignity and a tonic to their spirits. And the Lord blessed the vision and prospered the land with richness in oil, in gas, in minerals of every hue, in fruit trees and palm trees, in crops of every kind, in savannas and forests, arable land and seas and rivers, and the riches embedded in them. The vision of our forebears inheres in the words of our national motto, unity and faith, peace.
peace and progress. Through the years, we worked that vision through thick and thin, from subjection to colonial monarchy, to the sovereign republic, to civil rule, to military rule. We fought a bitter war amongst brothers that cost millions of lives. And though we still wear the deep scars of those wounds, the Lord preserved the Republic. We have since become the most educated and the most entrepreneurial nation in Africa. Ten, ten of our 36 states have larger economies than at least 15 major African countries. From our ranks, we have the most accomplished men and women in the arts, in the sciences, in sports, in technology, and in commerce. But today, yet again, our path has been dogged by conflict, religious and ethnic, economic challenges, insurgencies and banditry, much darkness, many valleys, many thorns. And so many may ask, can the vision of the nation united, the nation peaceful, the nation righteous, and the nation prosperous yet abide? But the vision is not destroyed because of the many trials and tribulations, nor is the vision denied by the days when the fig tree does not blossom, or when there is no fruit on the vines, nor is the vision nullified when the labor of the olive fails. Neither is the vision defeated because the flock is cut off from the fold, leaving no herd in the stalls. The Lord our God our strength. He will yet make our feet like the feet of the deer. And we who had been in the valley, he will make us walk on the high hills. Neither hailstones nor hellfire can destroy the vision because the creator of the universe is the visioner. The one who gave the vision is the Lord of dreams. And indeed, even after we have suffered for a while, this God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, will perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle us. So our current trials cannot draw the curtains on our story, because the vision is for an appointed time, so our today is not our tomorrow because the vision is for an appointed time and because this country is greater than the sum of its parts and the sum of its mistakes and because the God we serve is greater than the sum of our collective hopes and imaginations, our nation will surmount our current travails and emerge in victory. For indeed, for indeed, the vision is yet for an appointed time, though it tarries, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. We will wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. May the Lord prosper this land and his peoples forever. Amen. Congratulations to Khan at 45. Happy anniversary, Nigeria at 61. God bless the Federal Republic.